morning. Welcome to Student of the Guns Morning Mindset, and thank you for joining us this morning. What are you going to do? Step one, tell us where you are. Where are you on planet Earth? Step number two, share this with at least two people, because somebody you know and care about will want to know. Step number three, activate the asshole filter. Yep. Okay. There we go. Uh, Jared said that uh, we should do some quick unboxings while we're waiting for people to show up. Mmm. Pensacola Beach. It's not always about being tactical. Sometimes it's just about souvenirs. All right. Box number one. From the good friends at Glock Incorporated. Well, what did Brown Santa bring us? Brown Santa, well... You know how it goes. Brown Santa brought these to Cook's Gun Shop in Biloxi, Mississippi. Ooh. Glock 43. The little Glock 9mm. It's so cute. All right. Glock 43. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like Baby Bear, Mama Bear, and Papa Bear. So we had Baby Bear. We got Mama Bear here. We've got the... G19 MOS modular optic system and this is the Gen 4 with all the widgets and gidgets and, and, and cool stuff there so the 19 and last but certainly not least we've got Papa Bear the G17 it's an MOS and the MOS comes with plates so you can mount your favorite red dot well one of several favorite red dots to the gun. Pay close attention to Student of the Gun because we are going to be t and e those guns very soon. I'll go ahead and put them back in their little box there. How are you guys doing this morning? Jared, how are they doing? Are they doing well? Yeah. Jared says they're doing well. All right. So, the big Glock pistols that we got, they're MOS pistols, and we fully intend to put red dots on them, but they came with the standard, I guess, the standard basic model factory Glock sights, which function, I mean, they function, but they're not the best. So I've got another box here. Let me, let me break out my letter opener very carefully. My box opener from Cold Steel. There's one, two. Notice how I cut away from myself. There we go. This box is from XS Sites in Ludell, uh, Ludell Street, Fort Worth, Texas. All right. So what do we have in here? And I open it up. Well, surprise, surprise, surprise. Big Dot Sites for Glock 1719. Big Dot Sites for the 1719. So that's two sets. We've got Big Dot Sites for the Glock 43, and one more set of suppressor height sights for a Glock 17 or 19. Ah, somebody might be putting a threaded barrel into one of those Glocks and shooting it with suppressor. Hmm, who would that be? I don't know. All right, so that was box number two, excess sights, and we've got one more box and then we'll get into the Summer of Love. This comes from SWAT Fuel Incorporated. All right, let's see what's in here. It's taped up really well. Be careful. Here. There we go. Kids, don't try this at home. Or do. This is America. You know what? Kids need to start trying stuff at home. You ask me, I think kids need to start trying stuff at home. All right, what do we got? We've got our SWAT Fuel 40 caliber multivitamins every single day. We've got our SWAT Fuel 9mm plus P for when you need that extra oomph. And is that it? Just plus P and 40 cal? Yep, we got plus P and 40 caliber. Woohoo! Thank you, Brown Santa. Actually, that didn't even come Brown Santa. That came our uh, via our little postal ninja. Our postal ninja snuck that in. In case you didn't know, that is the Gladius, and the sheath is from B4 Gear. All right. Are we ready to go, Jared? Um, we're kind of, we're not reaching that many people yet, so I'm not really? sure why. Yeah. Oh. 
You told him we were going to do this today, didn't yep. you? Summer of Love. I guess it's one of those Fridays. It's one of those Fridays. Okay, kids. Uh, if you've been paying attention to the radio show, and shame on you if you haven't, but if you've been paying attention the last couple of weeks, uh, we have dubbed the summer of 2016 the Religion of Peace Muslim Missionary Summer of Love. And I know you guys are busy, and you haven't been paying attention to the news, but what I've got here in my hot little hands is I have, it's from a website called thereligionofpeace.com, and it's a list of Islamic terror attacks in the last 30 days, just the last 30 days from today. Well, actually, this goes from the 4th of August to the 6th of July. Uh, and it's one, two, three, four, five pages, five pages of attacks. In the last 30 days, there have been 50 attacks According to this uh, website, 412 killed, 701 injured, uh, nine of them were from suicide bombs, and 14 separate countries. Now, you know all about France, and you know about Germany, and maybe about uh, some of the other things that were gone, but did you know on August 2nd that in Benghazi, Libya, 23 lives were taken when a Fedayeen suicide bomber set off a bomb in a residential area, 23 killed, 20 injured. Syria, July 27th, 2016, in the city of Kamishi. Women and children are among 60 innocents blown apart by two Fedayeen suicide bombers. And for those of you that aren't really slick, uh, the Fedayeen, uh, they're not Baptist ministers. Let's go to the next page here. What do we got? Uh, oh, well, as we know, uh, in well, you may or may not know this because... Uh, well, I think it was buried very quickly by the mainstream media, uh, July 26, 2016, in France, in Saint-Echon de Rouvay. Muslim radicals take hostages in a Christian church, slit the throat of the 84-year-old priest. Isn't that wonderful? Baghdad, 7-24-16, an Islamic State suicide bomber detonates a bomb in a Shiite neighborhood obliterating 21 souls, including women and children. 21 dead, 35 injured. Didn't know that, did you? Afghanistan, 7-23-2016. Three suicide bomb attacks go off at once. Coordinated, they had three coordinated suicide attacks. 81 killed, 231 injured. France, did you know this? Well, here... Uh, fortunately, no one died, but uh, four people were sent to the hospital with serious injuries when a mother and three young daughters were stabbed by a Muslim man during their breakfast because he was offended. There you go. Uh, Germany, uh, five injured, zero died when a refugee attacks people with an axe screaming, Aloha snack bar. Nice, France, 85 killed, 202 injured. Muslim man runs his truck through a crowd on Bastille Day. And uh, we've got one, two, three, two more, pa two more full pages. Where are these happening? Are these happening in countries that are controlled by Christians? Countries that are controlled by Buddhists? Mm. Afghanistan, Libya, Pakistan, Somalia, Iraq, 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 Yemen, Somalia, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Nigeria, Somalia, Yemen, Libya, Pakistan. All right, you get the deal. Folks, it's 2016. It's August of 2016. We are almost 15 years. You know, the 15-year anniversary of the 9-11 attacks is coming up here next month. Think about it. I want you to think about this. How old are you now? How old were you on September 11th, 2001? 2001. We began our global war on terror shortly thereafter. And I want you to ask yourself a very, very serious question. Do you feel more safe and more secure from terrorism today than you did on 9-11-2001? And if the answer is no, then you need to be intellectually honest with yourself and say, why? 
Who has been in charge? Well, we had George Bush. We were doing good things. And then we quit. Then we elected Comrade Barry and we surrendered. And yet you are constantly being told that you need to just accept a little more intrusion. You need to accept just a little more, you have to surrender a little more of your liberties and your freedoms and so forth for the, in the interest of safety, right? In the interest of safety, in the interest of security. It's been 15 years. World War I and World War II combined didn't last 15 years. World War I, World War II, and the Korean conflict didn't last 15 years combined. Heck, uh, let me see, four, five, nine, three, 12. So you could throw in the Civil War. You'd have to throw in World War I, World War II, the Korean conflict, and the Civil War in order to add up more time than what we've been doing screwing around in the global war on terror. Let's face it, folks. It's time for American leaders that are going to say, no more. Not, how can we appease our enemies? How can we best not offend our enemies? No, how can we destroy our enemies so they want to go away and not come back? I'm looking across the, uh, the fruited plain. I don't see a whole lot of leadership. I see a whole lot of appeasement. I see a whole lot of pandering. And I see a whole lot of you that are playing Pokemon Go or Candy Crush or watching Dancing with the Stars. And you're just letting these people get away with it. Sorry, I, I don't know what else to tell you. But uh, 50 in 30 days. Even in the height of the Cold War when we had... Uh, Communist-inspired terrorism in Europe and South and Central America. It wasn't every day. It wasn't almost twice a day. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, America and free world, but uh, at some point in time, you might want to, you're going to have to step up. Yeah, you. You're going to have to step up. And it's going to have to start in your home, your community, your city, your state. If you're going to wait for it to be fixed from the top down, it's not going to happen. That's what we've been waiting for. We've been waiting for those at the top to keep us secure and to fix things, but they're not doing it. So what are you going to do about it? You're going to be the clinically insane person and just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, hoping for a different result? Or are you going to try something different? Are you going to gut up? The choice is up to you. I know I've made my decision. Jared, that's it. I'm all done talking. Okay. You don't want to just mention why we got all those packages. Oh. The reason we got all those packages is because Jared and I are in pre-production of a new video series called Five Handguns Every Instructor Should Master. It's a master series. We're going to address five specific styles of handguns that you, if you want to be a firearms expert, if you want to be an instructor, if you want to be Mr. Know-It-All, you need to know how to master each one of those. Not just your favorite gun, but lots of them. And the first one is going to be the Striker Fired Pistol. And What's the most popular striker fired pistol on planet Earth? The G-Lock. I know there are others. Don't write me letters. I'm fully aware of that. So that's coming up very soon. What else, Jared? Oh. oh we've got a lot of stuff coming up. we got the Five Strategies book that we already launched to the grad program. Five Strategies? Uh, we're going to be launching Watch on it. Monday? Yeah, we're going to be. No, it's not on Monday. We're, no? No, we're going to be doing that sometime in the near future. And uh, if you're not part of the grad program, go to studentthegun.com, sign up. Click the orange button, and you will get notified when we are doing that. What else we got? We got the Force Options. Force Option DVD, DVD Patriot Fire Team Manual. Unarmed Defense, basically, with just your hands. Mm -hmm. And we got the Patriot Fire Team Manual coming out, and then the Glock Striker Fired Pistol series. What else? Well, we have a radio show that plays five times a week. We have a television show that's on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. If you have any of those, jump on there. We're, we're, our material is available 24-7, 365 days a year. Oh, I mentioned on the grad program episode, the bonus hour that we released today, but I'm going to tell you guys that if you are an Apple TV user, go to Apple TV and leave a review. Uh, I'm going to check them next Friday, and if I'm happy with what I see, 
Uh, and by happy, I mean I see volume of. a volume of um, honest reviews. They don't have to be like kissing our butt. I want honest reviews. And if I'm happy with what I see, then I'll put the Armed Living DVD up on Apple TV for you guys to watch for free. All right. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.